Tutors? I think they're hard. Oh. Hello. We are just getting home. Ooh, oh, mess, it's humid. Um, we did a it's crazy. A Costco haul and a fresh time. So we are gonna show you both, but we're gonna do it in two separate videos because Costco is fairly large, Fresh Time is semi-large, um, and also in my Fresh Time, I also am going to do our meal plan for the week, so we're going to do it in two. So after we end this Costco one and we put it all away, then we'll hop back on and do a Fresh Time one. So if you are watching this on YouTube, we do these live on my Instagram, Her Hearts at Home, and I will share a um, my handle in the description so you can come join me live when we do them. Um, and I just thought we needed a few things at each place and we might as well just do a stock up while we're there. And I was hoping that they wouldn't be too crazy because it's Memorial Weekend. Um, first time wasn't too bad, but Costco was crazy, but Costco is always crazy. So let's get into it. We will do Costco first. <laughs> Got peanut butter, banana flavored dog treat. Yeah, so these are made in the U.S. Um, with just four ingredients. Ew, and it's oats, peanut butter, bananas, and coconut oil. So I thought that the dog would enjoy those. So we got him a bag of those. And we got dog chicken turkey treat. <laughs> yes, so dog uh, chicken jerky. This is also... Um, Made in America with 100% U.S. raised chicken. So we got him those. And if you see the stand move, it's because my other dog, who is deaf and blind, runs into it. Somehow she always knows when I have my stand out. <laughs> sugar. Yep. So we got some six pounds of sugar in the raw turbinado cane sugar. Um, just for baking and whatever else we might need it for. I'm just... Continually grabbing little bits at a time, um, just to continue to stack up. <laughs> got some different kind of noodles. Mm -hmm. We got some organic pasta. Heavy. So I usually get a lot of our stuff on Azure Standard, but the pastas have been kind of selling out, and I think it's because everybody's trying to stock up. And actually, the last time we were at Costco, they didn't even have these. So. Um, and the organic pasta at Fresh Time was completely gone. So I grabbed the pack. It is, um, they are 17.6 ounces each, and there are six of them in this thing. We got, wait, what's this? Oats. What's it? Um, Rolled oats. Yes. So these are one degree organic foods, all ingredients from farmers we know. Gluten free sprouted rolled oats. And they're organic, um, non-GMO, and they don't use, like, glyphosate. I think that's how you say it. Um, which I actually am in the middle of reading this book that I got from Azure Standard about how bad glyphosate, I think is how you say it, is, is so bad for all of us. Anyways, this is not treated with that. Yes. So we typically get the fresh thyme peanut butter and we really love it. It comes in glass jars, but um, Roland, sorry, big dog barking. Um, can you go grab the thing? Oh, I might have hung it up. Um, anyways, we usually get the fresh thyme peanut butter. We really like it. It comes in a glass jar. We love it for peanut butter sandwiches. I, however, made protein balls with them and they did not hold like they do with peanut butter like this. So I just grabbed two packages of these. The ingredients are simple. Um, it contains dry roasted organic peanuts and sea salt. So there's no extra oils or anything. So these are good too. I just like the other ones because they come in a glass jar. These are plastic, but these will just go in the pantry. We go through a ton of peanut butter. And if there was meat shortages, at least we would get some good protein source through our peanut butter. We got salsa. <laughs> yes, we got the Mateo salsa. salsa. 
I couldn't remember if we needed this or not, but the shelf life is pretty long. It's good until 2024. We love this. You can throw chicken in the yeah. crock pot with this, and it's delicious. Ice for chips and salsa. So I just got another thing of Mateo's. And every other thing floating in your list. Mm -hmm. We got sweet and spicy pickle chips. Yes. We have one open, and we have one extra, and I got these. These are so good. They are the famous Dave's. Um, Sweet and spicy pickle chips. They are amazing. If you haven't tried them, you need to get them. And this bottle jar at Costco is cheaper than a small one at like a conventional grocery store. So I'm trying to keep this stocked because I have a feeling it will go away um, eventually. These raspberries smell really good. Do they? I don't know why. <laughs> we got two packs of raspberries. Yes. So they had their organic raspberries. I think they were six ninety nine. Um, so we grabbed two packages of those. We got mushrooms. <laughs> and they like are um, organic baby bell mushrooms. And my husband likes mushrooms with steak and stuff. We were gonna do steak and chicken on the grill tonight, but it's still super frozen. So I think we might order pizza. <laughs> Yay, I love pizza. Especially after being gone all day shopping, I'm like, you know, I think we might just take the easy route and order pizza. Yeah. We haven't done it in a really, really long time, so. And we're actually going to do it pretty soon again. For your birthday. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyways, these will be for the steak. We'll probably have tomorrow now. I'll let it sit in the fridge another day. Strawberries. I love strawberries. Mm -hmm. Yep, organic strawberries. I cannot remember how much these were. It's a two-pound package. A big pack of cherries. Yes. Thought I dropped one. <laughs> that one came out. Yep, these are California cherries. We got a thing of those. This is two pounds. Cucumbers. Yep. I love cucumbers. Um, some so organic cucumbers. We like these ones. They are the seedless ones. And I was going to make a cucumber salad with the steak and chicken tonight. So I'll just make that tomorrow, but I have a ton of dill from um, Azure, and so I made it one other time, and we loved it. So I'm gonna make that with at least one of these. Does this come with six or eight? I think it's six. We got these. I don't know how to pronounce. I don't know how the brand is either, but well, they're like some more cups. Yep, some more souffles. So these are a product of Belgium, and they were a total splurge. There are six of them in here, and we actually got two packs. And it seems like it's a glass container, and we actually got lemon ones one time, and they had these nice little containers at the bottom. Lemon that upside down cheesecake. Yes. <laughs> um, super, super good. Two packs of those. And so we were able to save the little dishes and use them as little dipping bowls or when we put out kids' vitamins and stuff in the morning, we'll put them in there. So, um, got two of those. Those will be a fun dessert. Yeah. We got cream cheese. Yes. Um, so, I have been trying all sorts of different natural organic cream cheeses. I'm just not finding what I like. So, we're just going with the Philadelphia. <clears throat> We've tried the Nancy's from Azure. And it tasted like sour cream. It was real weird. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. So we just got a package of that. Cheese. Why not? You got it? <laughs> cheese. So I order most of our cheese from Azure Standard, and I buy, I've been buying the five-pound blocks, but my son really likes this cheese. Um, he's obsessed with... I could just eat that cheese. <laughs> cheese tacos, as the kids call them. They just use, like, tortilla shells. Wrap it up with cheese and melt it. And so he really, really likes this one. So I get the Tillamook. So I grabbed two of these. They are each two and a half pounds. And they're pretty reasonable price wise. Hobie Jack cheese. Yes. So I don't buy pre shredded cheese anymore, but I do still buy the sliced cheese because I can't slice it this thin. I'm very tempted to get like a deli slicer um, because I'm literally getting like five pound blocks from Azure, but. We haven't pulled the trigger for that, um, and the reason for that is because these, um, actually, I these don't even have the anti-caking agent on it, so these are not so bad. I assumed they did, but they don't, so even better. 
coffee it, creamer. Yes, my husband needed some coffee creamer, and he likes this organic coffee creamer French vanilla that they sell. What else we got, girly? We're getting down there. We had to put it all in bags Bikey. since we were running to two stores. Bikey. Oh, bacon. Yes, we were completely out of bacon, which doesn't happen very often in this house. I'll show you burnt like huh? We also burnt like the whole thing. The ones that used up a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um so I grabbed two packages of these. We really like these. They are uncured bacon, so there's no nitrates or anything in them. Um, pork that's raised in the U.S. Each one has three packages, but we pretty much need to cook two packages now um, that my kids are getting older. So gone are the days of one package of meat for pretty much anything, and now we're on to two. So I grabbed two packages of those. We got knives. Yes. So my knives are getting dull, and so I grabbed another package. They were on sale. I, I want to save for like... 15 or 18 dollars for the package. It, they're different colors though. Yeah. From the other So ones. I've gotten ones, whatever current ones that they have, I've gotten these. They work really nice. I like that they have the sheath. With I them. like the small one, the smallest one. Yeah. I use that for cutting up my fruit. And then just Zip some bags. Ziploc gallon freezer bags. You know, you need those. <laughs> Burritos. Yeah, so these are our splurge. We know they're terrible for you, but, you know, sometimes you just eat Doritos. <laughs> Ow! Ooh, Ooh. Is that it for the bags? Yeah. Okay. We got a portable pet pool. <laughs> so we got this for our toys. dog. Yeah. Um, and it can hold. He loves to go in water, and we usually fill up the kitty pool. Oh, this is really heavy. No. Um, <laughs> The kitty pool, but a kid <laughs> they cracked it. Well, we usually fill up the small one, but he's getting too big for the small one. So we got him this. He's a very spoiled dog. And it comes with toys. <laughs> All right, what's we're almost there. Paper towels. Roll in. Oops. Paper towels. If you're not buying paper towels and toilet paper from Costco, you are missing out. So we love their paper towels and their toilet paper. So we grabbed a package of each paper. when we went. Because you can really never have too much. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. and the books. My books, at least. Oh, did Wyatt take his up already? I think. Okay. Uh, I let um, the kids each pick out. Well, my son picked out a two-pack of books, and so she picked out two individual books. Because yeah, um, they could each spend about the same amount of money. So. Uh. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss book. I love Dr. Seuss books. And Llama Llama. So if Llama you Llama. don't check out Costco's book section, they have a great book section mm -hmm. of very There's reasonably. There's also a lot of workbooks. Yeah, very reasonably priced books, so my kids love to look at that section. I'm a sucker for it, too. Um, so anyways, that and is our... they got squishmallows. Yes. They got squishmallows. They had money to spend. Do you want to go grab yours and fill them? Careful of the dog. So, they had money to spend, you, and, you know, you the other they um, always want the squishmallows, which they because are. Because they're amazing. Together. So. They're, they're always good price tags. Yes, yeah, so this is what she got. And then I paid for this with my own money. Well, you they're, paid for part of this with your own money. Yeah. I, it comes with eight, mini, eight, eight <laughs> different mini squishmallows. Okay, and why and are you, foods. you want to show yours? I got a book, two books, and a squishmallow. <laughs> My son's usually not in the videos. Here you go. Okay, anyways, that is our Costco haul. We are going to put this stuff away because I had to sit in the car while we shopped at Fresh Time, and then we will go live again with our Fresh Time haul. It's best to do it in two videos just to keep it from getting, like, insanely long since they're both big things anyway. So... That's that. If you only caught this, have a great day and God bless. And again, if you're on YouTube, make sure you come join me on um, Instagram. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and come back and join me shortly for a fresh time haul. Bye, guys.